So which PNS product is better, the brand new Dream Maker or the classic Bead Maker? You're about to find out in this video. Both products promise to deliver gloss and slickness like none other. So which is which? What exactly do they do and who are they for? You know the drill. Without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it. Today, I'm presenting the brand new PNS Dream Maker. So this is a show car gloss amplifier. Uh, by the way, I ordered this on my own, so PNS did not send this to me. This is not a sponsored video. And we're gonna be talking about the product, what features it has. Of course, you're gonna see it on a demo in uh, on a 2022 beautiful Kia Telluride behind me. Uh, and we're gonna mainly discuss what the differences are with another staple in the PNS brand. So this is Bead Maker. This is a paint protectant, so a paint sealant. However, as you guys know, the durability of this is not that great. It doesn't have much chemical resistance either. So it's gonna last maybe three to four weeks on the paint. Now I've heard some people say, oh, it's a bad product because of the durability. It doesn't last long. That's not why we use this. We use this to enhance gloss and slickness, make the paint visually pop and it can be used as a drying aid or on dry paint. Uh, and so you can use this on top of an exi existing wax, a paint sealant or a ceramic coating or a graphene coating. So it's very versatile. You can use this on exterior plastics, wheels, glass even. Uh, I even use it as an interior quick detail spray, spray a little bit on a damp microfiber towel. You wipe your interior surfaces and boom, there you go. Uh, so I live in an area where I don't necessarily have issues with dust, but many viewers around the world, depending on which conditions you live in, some have reported uh, that this attracts quite a bit of dust. This is where the new Dream Maker comes in. So 16 ounce bottle or 473 uh, milliliters, uh, if the memory serves me well. So basically this is a gloss enhancer. There is no protection in this whatsoever. So you're gonna use this as a final step. So you're done washing your car, you finally dried it, and perhaps you're at a car show and you want more visual appearance, you're at a Cars and Coffee, or you're uh, on a night uh, about the town with your girl girlfriend or your friend or your boyfriend or whoever's in your life and you want your car to pop, that paintwork to pop, well, this is it. It's basically a show car gloss amplifier as the name states. Let me show you this label a bit closer. You can use this on a dry surface or you can even use this as a drying aid. Let me show you the rear label here if you want to pause to see the instructions. Basically one or two sprays per panel max and then use a microfiber towel to apply and to remove. For the Dream Maker, I noticed that a thinner pile is the way to go. So I like to use the Rag Company Edgeless 300 towels. They make them in a few different colors, but these are short pile towels or short nap, that's what you want. And the sweet spot is anywhere from 300 to 375 GSM. I wouldn't go uh, above that. Let's jump into the demo. What did we do to the vehicle? We essentially washed the uh, entire exterior of the car. And by the way, I used a product that you guys wanted to see. Uh, I had done a tour of one of my uh, local auto parts stores and I went in their car detailing products aisle. And one of the products that you guys saw that you really wanted me to test was the new Armor All Extreme Shield Ceramic Car Wash that can be used in a a two bucket wash system for the hand wash or in a foam cannon. Did it do well? Did it live up to its expectations? Go ahead and watch that uh, video on my channel if you uh, haven't done so already. By the way, I'll leave links to all of these products, tools, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I know you guys wanna see uh, if this is going to enhance the looks and in all my testing so far, it is absolutely crazy. So let's go ahead, let's jump into the demo. So what we're gonna do now, we're simply going to take the product. We already shook it like you should with all your products before using them. And then we have a clean and dry microfiber towel. The vehicle is fully cleaned, it's dry now. And what we're gonna do is one or two sprays per panel because this is quite a large hood on this large SUV. We'll do one, two, and three, and that's it. So you take your microfiber towel and you start distributing this and you can see it leaving some kind of thing on the surface. And then you simply flip your towel to a clean and dry side and you're going to buff to a streak free shine. I'm working in perfect conditions, of course, in my garage. 
So 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and humidity controlled as well. We're at 45% humidity. So uh, these are optimal conditions. I always recommend that you work on cool surfaces and in the shade or in a garage if you can. But if you can't, well, just be mindful. So one, two, three, there you go. It smells very, very nice, by the way. Kind of a fruity bubblegum type flavor or type scent. So very different from Bead Maker in that sense. And this is inexpensive as well. Again, check the links in the description for the most up-to-date prices. Uh, but the latest price that I remember of is roughly under 11 USD per bottle. So now we applied this, we're gonna flip the towel and wait till you guys see the end results there to die for. So stick around all the way till the end because this really, really works. So I don't have any streaking. It goes on very, very easily. And this hood, by the way, is split here. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this part here has PPF, so paint protection film or clear bra if you want. And this is just your standard paint. So I can tell that it works well on both surfaces or both substrates. By the way, guys, look at what I'm sitting on. Handcrafted in the USA, entirely made in USA. This is my very own custom Viper chair. This is the Robust Steel Max version, fully loaded. Stick around till the end because I'm gonna talk about this and you're gonna see it a bit closer. All right, so let's apply Dream Maker now on a vertical panel. So same process, shake your bottle. One, two, that's all you need. And then you spread evenly on that panel. So this is very, very quick to apply. So in a matter of a few minutes, you should technically be able to do an entire vehicle, even a large SUV like this 2022 Kia Telluride. We flip to a clean and dry side. We buff to a streak free shine. And man, I can tell right away the, the slickness through the glove and the microfiber towel. You can feel it just glide. We have some exterior plastics and moldings here. You can cover that as well with your damp towel. There you go. And you're just visually enhancing everything and you're getting that super slickness. And I'm looking at it through the side here. And I mean, it looks gorgeous. You can shave yourself off these panels. Again, wait till you see the end result. Woo! Look at that behind me. That looks super glossy, guys. Hopefully you can tell uh, on camera right now with the B-roll footage that it looks dripping wet. So uh, hats off to PNS. Once again, uh, family operated business for decades now. So Bob and Dave, the two brothers, um, Phillips, Bob Phillips and Dave Phillips. Dave is the chemist over there and he formulated this. Uh, he has an expertise in surface tension as well. So he knows that lowering the surface tension uh, increases the uh, quality of the water beads that you get, but also gets you that slickness and a bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, so yeah, Dream Maker does the job. Tons of gloss, tons of slickness. Uh, it does exactly what it promises. So this is a final step product. Once again, you can use it on dry paint or as a drying aid. If you're drying your vehicle uh, while it's wet after your final rinse, it'll give good enough lubrication for that. You can use this on painted surfaces, on wheels, on exterior plastics, and even glass, but avoid using this on matte surfaces because this, well, yeah, it's a gloss enhancer. So uh, do not use on your matte surfaces. So the product is super simple to use, one or two sprays uh, per panel. You take your microfiber towel on a clean and dry side, you do your initial wipe, flip the towel to a clean and dry side again, and then you buff to a streak-free shine, and that's it. Uh, I would avoid using this in direct sunlight if possible, uh, although you can use it outside. Uh, just be aware that you might run into a bit of streaking issues, so just use a damn towel if that happens to wipe again, flip to a clean and dry side, and buff and you should be fine. Durability, we don't expect much out of this. Uh, I've heard anywhere from about a week to two weeks because there's no real protection. Um, just about under a week is what I got. So basically, uh, when you start to feel less slickness on the surface, that's when you know that it's time to reapply. Uh, for guys like you who are watching my videos who wash their cars probably once or twice a week like I do, uh, that's fine because you can just use this and quickly reapply. Uh, and yeah, it just works well. So who is this product made for, right? So this brand new Dream Maker, isn't it redundant if they already have something like Bead Maker? 
Uh, well, Bead Maker has protection in it, right? So it's a paint sealant. And if you're over applying protection on top of protection, on top of protection, eventually you run into buildup. There can be some residue or also run into streaking issues and it's just a bit too much. And don't forget, if you're adding that protection, you can also mask the hydrophobic properties or the properties in general of the protection that's underneath, whether it's a ceramic coating, graphene coating, uh, a wax or a paint sealant. So you're taking the properties of your final layer. So if you use this, let's say as a drying aid every now and then you're diluting it so it's not too much of a problem or uh, if you're using it once a month or every two months, that's fine as well. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend this using this every day, right? It's a bit too much. Once again, you're going to run into that buildup of too much protection one on top of each other. You're losing your properties and potentially having streaking issues. So this is where this might come in. So it has anti-static properties, which Beadmaker does not because this and some have complained that they have dusting issues. So if you have a lot of dust where you live, this should technically alleviate that. Uh, it has the latest in their gloss technology. Uh, so it's just as glossy visually as Beadmaker, perhaps even a bit more. It reminds me of the uh, WoWo's Showstopper that I reviewed a few years ago. Uh, unfortunately, the rag company doesn't import the WoWo's products anymore. So I don't think we can get that in North America to my knowledge but that was a pure gloss enhancer, right? Zero protection. So this is that too. So it's just a gloss amplifier. There is no protection in there. Uh, you're not altering the hydrophobic properties of what's underneath. You're getting still that awesome slickness and basically you're using this for that slickness and gloss. So you can use this as often as you want. Again, on glass, plastics, paint, your wheels. Just don't apply this on matte surfaces. It's a gloss amplifier, so be aware of that. Uh, but basically, yeah, so for anybody who wants to quickly enhance that look, have a few days of pop and gloss and just that extra oomph when you're detailing your vehicle uh, and you want to separate yourself from the rest of the pack, whether you're at a car show, uh, you're at a museum, uh, you're going to a night out and about uh, in the town with your friends, girlfriend, spouse, family, whatever, and you just want your car to look awesome, you might go to a cars and coffee show, right? And you want your car to stand out. This is where this plays also. Very little goes a long way. One or two sprays per panel max. So this is gonna last, like I did the entire vehicle and look at this, the bottle still looks brand new. So you're not using a lot. So the experience is awesome. It goes on easily. So easy on, easy off. And the price, I mean, this is under 11 USD uh, at the time of this shooting, at least shooting this video. So uh, yeah, thumbs up. I think they, they did a great job. So for anybody who needs a gloss amplifier in their collection, you have this, but there are also many, many other toppers that do the job now. So is it the glossiest product on the market? Uh, no. Is it one of the glossiest uh, among a bunch of them? Yeah, it's top tier for sure. Uh, and if you want that slickness too combination and the anti-static properties, yeah, it's hard to beat. So I think it's good for any person's arsenal, uh, but this is not the end all be all. So for those of you who are using Beadmaker, you can continue using that no problem. But if you want something that doesn't overbuild protection or you don't need that extra protection because we have layers underneath, right? We typically have ceramic coatings nowadays or graphene coatings. Well, then this is perfect for that scenario. By the way, um, if you're noticing, I'm sitting down on something quite special. Uh, again, this is not a sponsored video. However, Viper Chairs decided to send me my own Viper Chair, uh, and I absolutely love this. It's custom made, so custom embroidery with my own logo. We custom, we color matched uh, to my um, cabinets, my garage cabinets, so that gray and blue scheme, super high end, completely made in USA uh, with everything, all the parts sourced, made in house, even painted in the USA, uh, some high grade leathers, and they make a bunch of different versions, by the way. So, again, I'll leave links to all the products and tools in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, but a big shout out to Viper Chairs. They made a killer, killer chair. Uh, I've been through many different versions of stools and rolling creepers and all that kind of stuff. You guys know the ones you find in your uh, typical um, hardware store or your auto parts stores. They tend to creak, to break. They're not comfortable. This is as good as it gets, guys. Uh, it's a bit on the pricier side. However, you get what you pay for and the quality is second to none. I challenge you to find a better built chair chair out there. I haven't found it yet. Uh, this is the best chair I've ever had, I've ever owned. So thank you uh, to the Viper Chair team to uh, sending me my own Viper Chair. I really appreciate this. So guys, click the like button to show me that you enjoyed this video. What other products do you want me to test? Let me know in the comment section under this video. Share the video with your families and friends as usual. And also subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss my future videos. So don't forget to keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.